Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Last February 22, Photometer 3.3 was released, which added support for an all-new file browser. Is it any good? That's what we're going to be finding out in today's video as we talk about the five ways the new file browser improves photo management. To better appreciate the benefits and features of the new file browser, Let's remind ourselves how photo management was done in the previous version of Photometer. Let's import a folder. I'll click File, Import. There, importing is done. I'll import another folder. As you can see, both folders have now been imported into Photometer and appear under the My Album section. The main thing to note about this photo manager is it relies and is built upon Apple Photos. To confirm this, let's open the Apple Photos app. As you can see, the folders are also available in Apple Photos and therefore any device with the same iCloud account. That is a great advantage if you edit on multiple devices. You can edit on the go with Photometer Mobile and finish with Photometer on the Mac when you get home. But what is the disadvantage? As you might have guessed, it is the recurring cost of cloud storage, which is much more expensive than the old-fashioned SSD drive. To get around this problem and paying more money to Apple, you could turn off iCloud photo syncing or limit the amount of photos you import, but that is not the best workflow. So that is the legacy photo manager. And just to be clear, this is still available in the current version. How about the new file browser in Photometer 3.3? How does it improve photo management? I can think of four ways. The first way it improves photo management is by cutting dependence on Apple Photos. Let's demonstrate this by importing some photos. In the latest Photometer 3.3, you can import photos using the initial screen, which appears upon update, or by selecting the Files option from the drop-down menu. Let's import a folder of raw files into Photometer. There, the folder is now in Photometer. Let's open the Photos app. Notice the folder is not present. No syncing takes place. This means you can import photos to your heart's content without worrying about the lack of cloud storage. A huge advantage. That being said, if you are still keen on syncing your photos to the cloud, the new file browser also gives the option to use iCloud Drive, which gives a better workflow for photo editing than iCloud Photos. The second way it improves photo management is by providing fast and efficient performance. The new file browser does not require a cataloging step, nor does it duplicate files when importing or editing your photos. All the files stay in place. This means that even if you import thousands of files, it will not eat up computer resources nor cause unnecessary delays. Let's demonstrate this by editing a photo. I'll perform a few basic adjustments. Click Done. Notice as I navigate to the Photos folder in Finder, Photometer has created a small sidecar file which contains all the editing information. The raw file itself has not been modified and remains in the same directory. Photometer also says the performance of the browser is fast because it is built upon the Apple file system, which allows for a Mac OS native experience. In my tests, importing, scrolling, searching, and editing was fast, smooth, and didn't drain my battery as its competitors tend to do. The third way it improves photo management is by providing better file search. While Photometer's file browser does not perform cataloging or saving of EXIF data, into a database, you can't search based on a date or specific metadata, it is at least able to keep track 
of files imported into the browser. You can search for files via keyword even if it is located outside the current directory as you can see here. The fourth way it improves photo management is by adding other functionality. One such function, which strangely was missing but has now been added in, is the ability to navigate to the file location in Finder. You do that by right-clicking on the thumbnail and choosing Reveal File in Finder. The new file browser also allows for deletion of files and folders and renaming of folders. Finally, Edit Mode also now has a film strip view, which is a great way to browse your photos. So there you have it, four ways the new file browser improves photo management in Photomator. Is it a big update? Definitely yes. While the file browser is missing features like the ability to add folders, sort, and rate, its fast performance, elegant interface, and intuitive navigation make it one of the best photo browsing experiences on the Mac. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts on this update. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.